Hey everybody, Chris here. In this video, I'm going to take a look at my November price prediction for Dogecoin. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell too. You can be notified when my new videos come out, as well as when I do live streams. And I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 o'clock. That's 4 o'clock p.m. East Coast time in the United States. But also, we're going to have a special live stream on Tuesday, November 5th. That's U.S presidential election night. We'll be looking at the results, but also keeping our eye on the charts for Doge, Bitcoin, and other cryptos. It's going to be a lot of fun, so make sure you're subscribed and you got notifications on. But for now, everybody's wondering what's going to happen with Doge? What's the Doge price going to look like? So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the news and the charts, and I'll show you what I'm looking at. We start here looking at the current Dogecoin price in on Monday morning. Doge is recovering from 15 cents. Yeah, we were just below 15 down over here. Uh, but look, we're having a nice recovery and Dogecoin is looking good. It's going to be volatile though. It's going to be volatile. And you'll see this white line here. This is my price prediction. And we'll be expanding that out in a little bit in this video, showing you where I think Dogecoin is going to go. Yes, I drew this over the weekend, but haven't had a chance to make the video showing my price prediction until now. This is where I thought we would be ending October, right around 14.3. This I've, it used to be a white line. I've now changed it to yellow because it is now in the past and now we're concentrating on the white. But look, for those that thought my price prediction was way off in October, look what happened right here. On the 3rd of November, it hit my spot that I thought would be October 31st. So only a few days off hitting that mark, but now we're turning around and going higher. So let's take a look at the bigger picture. What is going on with Dogecoin? So Doge, price, eyes, fresh increase. That's right. We're looking at a fresh uh, increase after a decline from the 18 cent resistance level. So are we poised for a big move? Price is trading below 16.5, which is a 100 hourly simple moving average. Key bearish trend line is still there. We need to break back above that for Doge to move up higher. Ali says, look, TD sequential indicator has flashed a buy signal on the Dogecoin 4-hour chart. If Doge holds above 14.1, we could see a rebound up to 16.2. Again, this is short-term, short-term outlook, but whenever there's a buy signal on TV sequential, typically that does follow forward. But what's been happening? Well, we've had a lot of shorting on Dogecoin. As soon as Dogecoin was 18 cents, we saw heavy shorting. We looked at it late last week and well, what's happening right now? Here's another Doge do short that just got wrecked. That's right. This is live as this is happening. We'll look at the more expensive wrecks. And here's here's a Doge short that just got wrecked. A $212,000 trade just got wrecked on Doge. That's right. Doge over a million dollars in the last hour alone. Because what's happening now, traders are buying Doge up because we've got buy signals happening. And as the traders are buying it up, they're starting to wreck the shorts again. That's right. And we could see this big short squeeze coming. Dogecoin set to surpass 20 cent mark. So could we see this big move up now to 20 cents? Well, we'll take a look at that in just a second. Crypto Rover says, look, in Bitcoin having an election years, November is always extremely bullish don't get fooled now. So on the Bitcoin chart, what we're looking at is every four years, there's a U.S. presidential election. It always happens in November. And look what November's results are for Bitcoin. Up 5% in 2016, and then December followed with a 30% increase. In 2020, look at that, up 42%. This is Bitcoin, up 42%. And then in December, up 46%. So huge rise in the price of Bitcoin there. November, we're starting off just a little bit in the red, but again, we're just very early in the month. What is this going to be? What is this going to be going forward? Don't get fooled now. 
So with those big increases, we're looking at Doge being more volatile than Bitcoin. Will we actually see Dogecoin outperforming Bitcoin, which has been my call since August and September when I was saying we're going to be watching Dogecoin and how Dogecoin is going to outperform Bitcoin for the rest of this bull market, this cycle. So 50, could we see 50 cent Doge? Is that what we're going to be looking at? Well, we're going to be exploring that a lot more during the live streams. So make sure you take a look at that. But okay, what, what, what happens with elections? Again, 2016, after the US election, Bitcoin went on a huge run. 2020, after the US election, Bitcoin went on a huge run. Now, this election, we've had a lot of volatility here. This volatility is tied to uncertainty. Generally, traders do not like uncertainty in the markets. What happens after the US presidential election? That uncertainty is gone. Once that uncertainty is gone, risk on assets, risk on trading increases. And we've seen that, particularly with Bitcoin, following the US presidential elections. So what about Dogecoin? Well, here's Trader Allen, Trader Tardigrade is saying, look, this is what we've had in the past, 2016. We sort of had this double bottom. And then after the election, a big run up in the price of Doge. Again, 2020, we had this double bottom and then a big run up in the price of Dogecoin. Well, Look what's happened here, 2024. We've just completed that second bottom. Again, it's a higher low. And what is going to happen next following the election? This is why this year is so exciting. This is why these coming months are so exciting. This is looking primed for a big run. 50 cents, what, 50 cents, how about, how about a dollar? How about a dollar next? That's right. Dogecoin broken out of a long-term consolidation phase, signaling potential for significant price growth as it enters an expansion phase. So what is this expansion phase we're talking about? Hmm, we'll take a look at that. But oof. technical analysis suggests that Dogecoin may follow historical price pattern, potentially leading to a substantial bull run. This is why I said, in on x twitter i posted this uh yesterday on sunday it's like imagine selling your dogecoin now classic bear trap that's right that's what we just had we just had that bear trap master kenobi says not there yet but i was convinced that that was it that's where we were yesterday stock money lizard says look dogecoin up uh, uh update here this is the expansion we're talking about. We're talking about this big double top, similar to what we had back 2016 into 2017, similar to what we had 2020 into 2021. And here we are 2024 into 2025. This, on a, based on historical trends, this is what we could expect for Dogecoin. Top one could be a dollar. Top two could be even more. And what could cause that expansion? Well, Sir Doge of the Coin says, if given the option, would you pay for X merch with Dogecoin? That's right, X, X Twitter is going to be looking at expanding their merch store and why not buy it with the currency on X that could be something other than fiat money in the future? And could that be Doge? Billy Market says, yeah. So, so when Billy Market says, yeah, we're like, all right, we pay attention. Billy's like, okay. <laughs> and of course, Sir Doge says, hey, I mean, it is money after all. So, so what are we talking about with Dogecoin? Look, let, let me show you my overall prediction. We'll go to the four hour chart. This is what you guys want to hear, right? I'm predicting some volatility coming up. The volatility may be even more than this, because as we saw back here at that last week of October, where I predicted that Doge would reach a bottom somewhere around, you know, 25th, 26th of October, would come up high and then come back down. 
it went up higher. That's right. Doge broke through that 17,420 resistance, came up higher to 18 cents, and then just got heavily shorted. We saw all those shorts now starting to get liquidated, but the shorts made some money there over the past week. But Dogecoin did price did come down to where I predicted. And you can go and you can see on my past videos that this was the line I had drawn back on October 1st. So we were close to that. But now, so over the weekend, I drew I drew this November price prediction line starting here on November 1st. And I predicted we would come down, which we did. Thought we'd still be floating at right around 15 cents. But look at that. We're up to 59 now, almost 16, which I predicted we would be having on Tuesday, November 5th, leading up to election results. So I think we're going to get over 16 cents. But then that night, I think we're going to see some volatility. And typically we've seen in, in big events before, like Saturday Night Live and others, prices going down during those big events. So wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing Dogecoin going down while the election results are coming in, which is contrary, reverse to what most people think is going to happen. And because I think this year in the election cycle, there's going to be more uncertainty. It's going to be late night Tuesday, going to go into Wednesday, and there's still not going to be a call on the U.S. presidential election. I think that is going to happen this cycle. We're not going to know, which could lead to Dogecoin coming back down into the 14s and may even dip down even more. I put a little tail down here that we could come back to this 14.3 line, could even dip a little lower. Again, that's with uncertainty, right? But then once it's determined who the president is, doesn't matter who, I think, it just it's determined, then we see expansion start. And with that expansion, we start to see Dogecoin moving up. And I think it will be a continual move up with some volatility, of course, up and down through the month of November. And I think we're going to end up probably back up at 18 cents, maybe a little dip down to 17,420 again. That's right, 17,420. That was our resistance here that we had. That's kind of where I think we're going to end up in the month. But again, that's only November. We still have December up to the end of the year, which we will be talking about on December 1st. That's right. I will update my end of year prediction then. We can talk about that during live streams too. So join on live streams. We had a lot of fun there. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about your November price prediction for Dogecoin? Give the video a like if you haven't already. Please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.